In this video, I'm going to be showing my first few flights with the new FPV Blue system, which is a long-range HD FPV video link that is actually designed for FPV and not just aerial cinematography like a lot of the other HD wireless video systems out there. For my first test flight, I installed the transmitter and camera on an old Skywalker just to make sure the system worked and it wasn't going to freeze up and cause a crash. At this point, I kind of expected it to work similarly to the other HD downlink systems I've used, which would mean losing signal a few hundred feet away and getting a blue screen. However, I was pleasantly surprised that the system worked perfectly. I was using 2.4GHz for RC control, so I wasn't able to go very far, but I did go a few hundred yards out, and the video link was flawless. After that, I installed the system on this quadcopter, which I'm pretty sure was cursed because nothing worked right. There were bad vibrations, even though the props were pretty well balanced, and I'm pretty sure that was just because of a crappy frame and flimsy motor mounts. But anyways, one time it randomly almost fell out of the sky, and another time it went into failsafe and dropped onto the ground instead of returning to home, and an ESC spontaneously combusted. During the last flight, one of the motor mounts just broke in half and it fell out of the sky and took me about 3 hours to find. After that whole ordeal, I mounted the FPV Blue system on a carbon fiber slow stick type airplane and that went really well. I was able to go about 1.5 miles away without any significant breakups in the video. During this test, I also installed a 5.8 GHz 600 mW FPV system with omnidirectional CP antennas on the transmitter and the receiver for comparison. As you can see, the FPV Blue system outperforms the analog by a long shot. Here's another flight without the 5.8 GHz for comparison. Right here, I flew behind a grove of trees to test the penetration power, and there were no glitches at all in the video, which is really impressive. Do note that the lens got messed up in one of the quad crashes, and that's why the bottom right corner of the video is the only part that is sharp. I haven't really gotten a good chance to push this system yet and see what it's really capable of, so I'm looking forward to getting a chance to do that. But in the meantime, if you're looking for more info, check out Bonafide Pirate and RC Shim's videos about the systems. There are links in the description. They have a lot of great info and tests. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.